Hi, Gary Golka, DAS. I'm holding the SB11 and we've added the REM feature to this particular device. The first one I made was a little bit different than what you're going to be seeing today. The first one I put the lights up here and we had a couple of other uh, I don't know, layout changes that I, I wanted to show you. First I want to show you the front. What I've done is I put the REM right here and I'm going to turn that on so you can see that. The field for the REM is a little bit different than our conventional REM. There's no antenna required for this particular device. So if you bring your hand up near the top, you can see the changes occur. There is no antenna involved with this unit. Okay, so the on-off for the REM is on the side over here. So we have a separate button for that. You can see a little power light in the button. Over here we have our flashlight. You can turn it off. You can turn the temperature detection, hot and cold spot detection on and off from the left side. And this is a very important feature. It allows you to turn the antenna for the AM and FM on or off or any combination thereof. Okay, so that's uh, on the left side, so you know where the REM button is. I like the buttons here for the REM because they blend in well with all the other LEDs, the SB11. And over here we have our mute button. Separate audio outputs if you want to record, so you can determine where your responses are coming from. I'm going to really find it fascinating if we start getting people recording separate outputs and we're able to say or reveal that we're detecting stuff on one versus the other. The other important thing that I, I have to uh, say is that we've modified this REM a little bit. The REM frequency has been tuned specifically to interfere with the AM sweep. So when you turn on this device, you're going to see that there's a very distinctive change with the AM sweep and the sound of the AM sweep. You can actually feel and hear the energy okay, that's being absorbed within the AM frequency sweep band. All right, well, let's turn it on so you can get a, a little bit of a feel for what's going to happen. We turn it on and off here. And if I wanted to turn on the REM, we could do that here. We can also mute at any time with a mute button. That's the easiest way to get rid of the sound. So one of the things you need to determine when you first start your session is where do you want, let's turn off the temperature, it's baselined. Where do you want your antenna to be? Do you want to disengage the AM antenna? Do you want the AM antenna on, the coils engaged? Or if you want to, you can take the FM antenna completely out of the circuit. That is your temperature. You have to determine if you want to use the temperature or not. You can turn it off with a slide switch there. Okay, well, let's do this. I'm going to just use one of the two frequencies for sweeping. You have your selection using the function button, channel 1, channel 2, or both. You also have a choice whether it be AM, which is the blue light, FM, which is the red light. You see the sweep for the red over here. If it was AM sweep, the sweep rate will show up in a blue light and will be in this area here. All right, so you have AM and FM selection, sweep rate selection. If I'm in channel one, right now it's defaulting to 50 milliseconds per step. It's up to you, the user, to select 100 milliseconds, 150, and you see the little light scrolling. If they're both in FM, like this, you can see how they overlap in the same area. All right, so now channel two is at 150 milliseconds, channel one is at 250. So you can actually adjust that. See how I'm adjusting that? Okay. It's up to the user. You can also select if you're going forward or reverse. But here's the thing. I want you to see how this AM sounds. It's gonna sound a little bit weird. It's brand new. It's like nothing anyone has ever heard before. So uh, be prepared for a monumental change with the way that the uh, AM sweep is handled. Let's go into one channel so we don't get overwhelmed. Let's go into the AM band. I'm going to adjust it just a little bit for the sake of our listeners. I'm going to make the sweep rate 200. I'm going to start the sweep rate. Okay, 
If I wanted to take the AM coil out, I could do so. You have to increase the volume a little bit. That's without the AM coils engaged. Let's bring them back on. Now let's turn on the REM. Now listen. Okay, we're actually blending the EM from the REM field into that AM. If you want to smooth it out a little bit, remove the coils. All right, a much smoother effect. And believe me, I've already heard responses with this REM coming through the AM field. Um, one thing I do want to say to people, I'm going to mute this for a minute. Please don't use this in excess, all right? Use it little bits at a time in moderation. Don't get attached to the device or any of the voices that you start to hear. It's very important. Someday I'll, someday I'll explain why. But anyways, this is the new device. We have our REM on the side. All the field is located up here. There's no antenna, so don't look for an antenna. SP11 with the REM added. Hope you enjoy it.